Cheyenne. It's hard to believe that six years ago, the two of us were sitting on my king-size mattress on the floor of my crappy apartment, staring at your acceptance letter to Lakehead, trying to decide if we were gonna go to Thunder Bay together. Our relationship was only just beginning. However, our love for adventure made it an easy decision. We quickly packed our bags and started driving to I didn't even know where. <laughs> but now see, that's one of the amazing gifts Cheyenne has. Your compassion, honesty, and trust gave me the confidence to follow you anywhere. Over the last six years, my love for you has only grown. I've had the privilege of watching you become the hardest working, most dedicated, empathetic, and passionate nurses I've ever known. You have given me love with so much passion. You make me strive to be the best that I can be, and you have supported me unconditionally. I promise to forever honor you, love you, respect you, and always put you first. I promise always to listen to your nursing stories, even to the point of passing out. But most importantly, Cheyenne, I promise to fill your life with surprises so that your world is full of excitement and joy. And I promise to always make anywhere with you feel like home. Stefan, as soon as I saw you, I knew a great adventure was about to begin. From the first moment that we kissed until now, you have been my favorite person and my best friend. We have waited so long for this moment, and I stand in front of you today, honored and excited to be your wife. Declan, I want you to know that I choose you to be my partner through life, to encounter peace and pain with, to grow old and carefree with, shaking our fists at teenagers and reminiscing about the good old days, walking hand in hand with our fur babies at our sides for as long as life will let us. I choose you to be no other than yourself, knowing what I know of you and trusting who you will become. I promise always to be a home for you, no matter where our adventures take us, you can always rely on me. I promise to use my skills to nurse you through every flu season, ranging from pandemic to man cold. I promise to listen to your advice and occasionally take it, and to not keep score because I think I always win anyways. I will honor your goals and dreams, trying always to encourage your fulfillment and promise to be your best friend, your lover, and most importantly, your family from this day until our last. We are happy to be gathered here today at the Spences residence to celebrate the love and friendship of Cheyenne, Storm Spence, and Declan Rucom. It is only natural that this deeply meaningful day recalls fond thoughts and memories of all of those who have touched their lives. Wow, Shy, finally, here we are. <laughs> and you look stunning. I'm gonna try and do this a bit, cry. <laughs> um, and talk when you're not too bad yourself. <laughs> Standing beside you today gave me a very familiar feeling. When Cheyenne was born, I was one very proud big sister. And I mean very proud. So proud, in fact, that I had to bring her in for show and tell to my kindergarten class. <laughs> and that was just the beginning. Oh, how I have loved walking you grow. I have felt nervous for you, excited for you, and sad for you. To this day, I still brag about my baby sister and the amazing nurse you have become. I have loved cheering you on. When I first met Declan, he was uh, dressed as a big yellow <laughs> minion. <laughs> the more I got to know you, um, the more I knew you were the perfect match for my baby sister. He's funny, ambitious, he makes Shy happy, but most of all, I have watched you cheer Shy on with me. So thank you for loving my baby sister uh, so much. When I first met Declan, to say the least, it was interesting. Uh, since then, we've been the best of friends. We learned so much about each other, like how Declan used to work at Harvey's, and that Declan is one of the highest fashion senses I've ever known in a man. <laughs> I met Declan way back when these two were just friends. It was funny because you just knew Declan was the guy friend who secretly loved my sister. He was the guy friend who we were all kind of secretly rooting for to somehow win my sister's heart.
I may not say I love you every single day or show how much affection in any kind of way, but know as your sister and sister mom, <laughs> you mean the world to me and I will always be with you wherever you may be. Another journey accomplished, another one to begin. You are both on a mission, I know you're set to win. There are no words to describe how proud of it makes me feel, seeing the two of you so happy and knowing your love is for you. I may not be able to follow you where you're about to go, but I hope these words will help you in case you need the help. <laughs> um, I love you both. Cheers to these two and congratulations, you guys. Diana Declan, the choice you're making today by being here together indicates that you're choosing each other to share your life with. Are you ready to commit yourselves to each other in marriage today? Yes. <laughs> Do you pledge to be true to each other? Do you promise to support each other through triumphs and trials? Do you promise to love, respect, celebrate, and take care of each other as partners in marriage? Absolutely. Yes. You come here freely and consciously and without reservation to give yourselves to one another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheyenne, I give you this ring. It's a symbol of my love and faithfulness. And as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows that we've spoken on this, our wedding day. Hold it and put some love into his ring first. <laughs> Show me Declan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. And as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken on this our wedding day. It is my pleasure and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife and to present for the first time Cheyenne Storm Spence and Declan Mukholm, now married. <laughs> Please take your first kiss as wedded partners. We did it. <laughs> to overcome impossible storms to weather. One day you'll sit side by side, hands withered and bent, thinking back of the years, the good times you spent. You'll remember the laughs, you'll recall special places, and look far beyond the gray hair and soft and white faces. <laughs> so take it all in and cherish each day, no matter what happens, no matter what's thrown your way. We're both realistic. Every day isn't a dream. But we're in this together. 
Thank <laughs> you.